this video we are going to focus on the concept called as list comprehension now you have seen in the previous examples we have been through cart now let's say i want to find the list of the prices or i want to filter out the elements which are greater than five dollars so i will have to go and use functions like map and filter which tends to become complex after a while so python provides us a very concise way of creating or applying map applications or filters on list it simply says like in a square bracket you can just say like this is the baseline expression for item in items if condition so if condition last part is quite optional but expression for item in items and if you write it in that way it becomes such a human readable thing that you will enjoy uh, applying this comprehension on list so let's jump into the practice now what I have done here is already created a file called as list comprehension and taken my cart. So my cart is uh, just to give you an idea. We have got product, we have got price and we have got quantity. So this is what that uh, individual element means in that cart. And what I want to do is let's first just print the cart straight away. Now let's say I have to find out the prices from this list which belongs at uh, item of one. So what I want to do is prices is list of map now there is a function called as map you remember lambda function we have done uh, in the previous video i'll just share the link in the description so here i'll say that lambda and for every item what i want to release is item of one yeah from where from my cart so you have to specify like what iteration you want to apply and on what iter and on what uh, uh, was what is the collection where you want to apply so if you do that you will say print you will get lists of prices so that should give you only what prices okay so if i say and i say python list comprehension where did i put it i'll move this and now it should pick up list comprehension yeah. see this was my original card and now i'm getting prices of 15 7 and 23 but if i wanted to do the same thing using my list comprehension so this is sort of a map function we are doing and now let's apply list comprehension as i said by the time you get used to it, it is always better just write this like a, a boilerplate expression for item in items. So this is what I want to do. Now let's say I want to find the list using list comprehension. So I will say price is LC. Yeah? This is list comprehension or underscore LC list comprehension. First I paste this. Then I do what? Step one. Let me replace my items with cart because that is what I am finding for every item in cart what is the expression I want to get there is that item of one because that is at the first element okay and now if you see I print this and I say list sorry prices LC let's see if it so Yeah. The second list is coming from list comprehension and you see how easy it becomes rather than write, writing this very complex function. It is much more better than how we write it here. Same way, now consider if I want to do this for filtering element. So I can simply just go here, say filter and as I said, step one, always write the boilerplate that is expression for item in items and here I'll specify if condition. So consider i want to find out those elements in my uh, uh, list where my price is greater than 9 so your 7 should not be included so here what we do items with price greater than 9 and what i say as i said print your boilerplate this time we have an extra thing which is with condition so first let us replace items with what cart because we want to apply the cart here then i want to find item of one that will give me the value on which i will write my condition and then here i say item of one 
should be greater than nine because this is how you will be able to write your list. Then I say print items greater than nine price USD nine, and that is we have got items greater than nine. So you see, you have got fifteen and uh, twenty three here. Uh, okay. Sorry, what you know what I can do is rather than just fetching out the item, why why don't I just say return an item which will return me the card? So this way it is also giving me bread and jam and butter is gone. Why? Because it was seven dollars. Also, at the same time, this can be used for much more purposes. For example, I want to find the lens. So I can say, for example, I have a names list where I've got let's say Tom, Alex. Mike, Leonard, Sheldon. Okay, now I want to find only the lens. So how can I do that? So let's say length list. First thing, paste the boilerplate. Now this time the items will be what? Names. For every name, you can also change this one. For every name in name, what do you want to uh, release? Is the length of your name. So you have got a new list now. So if I say print names is names and length. of names is length list. So if you run this, you'll see Tom is three, Alex is four, Mike is four, Leonard seven, Sheldon seven. So this is how you apply list comprehension. So the next thing, uh, what I want to do is I have given you the list of employees here and there is a challenge. So you need to find the list of departments in employee list. So whatever departments, I want a unique list here and find those employees whose salary is greater than 32,000. So except for Tom, everyone should be there in your final list plus they should be only working in IT department. So these are certain challenges what I would like you all to work upon. So thank you for watching this video. Try to complete this challenge. You can find the link for this code on my Git repo which will be mentioned in the description and do subscribe, uh, hit that bell icon and share it with your friends.